So in the last video, what we have done is we have created a list of values for what one to six, and then using this for each method, we have printed all the values using a lambda expression. Now, if you concentrate here, what we are doing, we are taking the value from the collection, which is uh, from a list, which is one to six, one by one. So first, initially, this i will be one, and then we are printing the value of one, or i, which is one. Then we are switching to two, and then we are printing the value of i, which is two, and then this is three, and then this is three, right? But what if, when we know that the only thing we here will be one variable and we are just printing it. Then why even writing this one? When this for each method knows that it, it need to take all the values of all the values from the list and it print it or to, 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 to do something, what we can simply say is instead of taking a value, you take the value, you do anything. So for each will say, okay, I will take the value, tell me what to do. We are specifying here for every value, print it. We will say now, for every value, we have to execute a method which is print ln. So what for each will say? Okay, what I will do now is, if you say you are specifying a print ln here, what I understand is, I have to write in this way. So for I will take a value which is i, and will print the value of i. This is what you mean. I said yes. When I say print ln, this is what we need to do. We will say, okay, but hold on, I don't know what is println. So we need to say, okay, println is a method which belongs to object out. We will say, okay, whenever you say println, it's a method reference. So you are giving me a reference of a method. And whenever you want, want to work with method reference in Java 8, you have to specify a, a two colons here, which says you are working with method reference here. And then you have to specify which object it belongs. And we say, okay, the object name is out. But hold on, what is out object? Out object is a static object of print string, print, print string which belongs to our method class called a system. So you have to say it is system dot out. So this is the object you need. And in this object, you will be getting a method which is print ln. So you can see, we don't have to specify any variable i and we are not using any lambda expression explicitly here. We are using something called as method reference. So we are passing our method as a parameter. Now is it possible? You you might be knowing about call by there's a method there's a there's something called as call by a value. So you are passing a value. Call by a reference. You are passing a reference of an object. Now we are looking at something called as call by method. And this is passing a method as a reference. Clear? So Java supports something called as method reference. This concept here is called as method reference. 